All right, Shalom, we're the Hebrew Israelites. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and uh, Shalom to all the sincere Akim out there, uh, being diligent, laboring in true sincerity, and um, having patience, and um, trying to endure until the last days, until the famine of the word. I don't... Um, It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Also the sons of the stranger. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, while he may be found. Call ye upon call ye upon him while his while he is here, while he is near. Yeah, so the scripture is saying, seek. The Most High, Yahweh, which is his name, his name is in the Hebrew, is Yahweh, Yah meaning he, and how how meaning is, or it, or be, or exist, or am. All right. So that was the name that was given to Moses on Mount Sinai to tell to the Is his uh, fellow Israelites, so they would have a specific name for uh, their Lord. All right. To differentiate him from all the other uh, gods or deities or idols of the other nations. So it says, call ye upon that name, Yahweh, while he is near. It says, verse, uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. It says, seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Yeah, and he may be found right now because right now we're under uh, grace. When I say uh, grace, I'm talking about the Yahweh sent his son for a uh, propitiation of our sins to give us, uh, to build us up. Because the word grace, if you look that word up, it means um, favor that is specifically given to the nation of Israel, all right? The nation of Israel to uh, build themselves up in uh, faith and the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, all right? Before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, before his son makes his return and renders judgment on our enemies, on the enemies of the Israelites, all right? And before he sets up his uh, kingdom, all right? Because we're supposed to be right now, we're supposed to be getting ourselves in order so that we will be uh, vessels, uh, you know, fit for use and we will be redeemed in those last days. I got, I got the um, definition of the word grace. Okay. It says favor, yeah. grace, charm. Yeah, favor. And the Most High gave favor to the nation of Israel. Sorry. He preferred the nation of Israel over all over all the other nations because contrary to popular belief uh you know what they tell you in your churches the most high is only only cares about the nation of israel he put the nation of israel above all other nations he showed it's the book of deuteronomy chapter 14 and 2. it says for thou art a holy people until yahweh bashin yahweh shot our power and Yahweh Bashim Yahushua have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the earth. Yeah, so that's separatism, that's favoritism. That the Most High is showing to the nation of Israel above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And even, uh, I just want to make a quick point real quick, because I was um, looking at this last night. You know, when you read, even in, uh, you know, a lot of our people that caught up, just like I was saying, all these philosophies and all these other deities and gods, when you read in, even in the Quran, when you read in the Quran, it has verses that say the same, uh, basically exact, uh, you know, thing that the scripture in uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 2 just said. Right. All right, so why, why would you be Muslim when the scripture, when, when the Quran, your, your so-called Quran, tells you that the uh, nation of Israel is above all creatures, above all, you know, is preferred above all nations? It's like the brother said, man, we're going to. Uh, that's Is 
there with the brothers going to bring out. Now, 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 now you dudes that like to be Muslims. We got a Quran right here that's older than the Qurans that you carry, man. All right, what the brothers going to bring out is the points that tells you that, that the, chosen, the chosen people is the children of Israel, man. And it... Now, 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 this, this right here we about to read out is the, is your noble Quran or whatever you want to call it, man. All right. So being as though that this book right here was written for you Muslims, all right, the Quran was written for you so-called Muslims. Why is it talking about the children of Israel being the chosen people, man? All right, so this, uh, this is uh, Al-Bukhari, or chapter 2, verse, um, I'm going to start at verse uh, 40. It says, O children of Israel, remember my favor wherewith I favor you and fulfill your part of the covenant. I shall fulfill my part of the covenant in fear. That's right. So what's the, the favor that he's talking about? The favor that he's talking about is coming out here on the, on the highways and hedges, man. Teaching his, war, his word, his law, statutes and commandments and, and uh, building our people to the marriage, man. You know? Yeah, well, yeah, it says favor. So that's that's going back to a description in Deuteronomy that uh, the brother just read, where it was talking about how the Most High chose Israel above all nations. So, uh, and I got another one too. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Al-Bakari, um, chapter, chap which is uh, chapter two, verse 41. It says, and believe, and believe in that which I reveal, confirming that which ye possess already of the scripture, as at uh, parenthesis, I mean, uh, yeah, parenthesis. It says, and be not first to, and be not first to disbelieve therein, and part not with my revelations for a trifle of price, and keep your duty unto me. So it says, so that's what, yeah, so I mean, so, so it's basically saying, I'm gonna read it again. It says, and believe, and that which I reveal, confirming that which ye possess already of the scripture. So that's talking about the Bible. So right. the saints, you know, are going to keep oh, going. Oh, snap. Hold up. What's, what's the scripture? All right. Back up. Back up. Um, what's it? Hold, 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 hold on. Yes. Okay. 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 It says, Yeah, it says, I'm going to read it again from the top. And believe in that which I reveal, confirming that which he possessed already of the scripture, talking about the Bible. And be not first to disbelieve therein, and part not with my revelation for a trifling price, and keep your duty unto me. It says, confound not truth with falsehood, nor knowingly conceal the truth. So like, why would you, if, if it's talking about uh, right here, uh, with confirming that which he possessed already, talking about the Bible, you know, why would you start believing in another book, in another another God, which we just talked about how the Most High gave the name Yahweh, I'm sorry, yeah, Yahweh to Moses to get to the children of Israel. So why would you, after hearing that, why would you start calling him Allah and all these other names? It doesn't make any sense. Oh! Yo, the back up the brother real fast, man. This is I got, I got two precepts, all right? This is our uh, Revelations, Revelations chapter 2 and 13. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at, uh, this one first. The back of what he just read previously about, you know, uh, uh, what, what, what you already have, what the Lord gave you. We're talking about the scriptures, right? That's the book of Revelations chapter 2 and 25. It says, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. All right, so what's that what you have, man? That's talking about the we're talking about the breakdowns, man. The proper breakdown, the knowledge, man, the, the, the understanding of the scriptures. You know, it said, uh, uh, wisdom shall be the stability of our times, man. You know, so right now, the, uh, that's why we do a lot of research and things like that. So we have the wisdom to know how to uh, conduct ourselves when these things happen, man. All right, and first of all, the Quran was written by a bunch of 
wicked ass Israelites. All right, that's why these these uh, 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 scriptures are tied together. So that the Quran, you no, know, did, did this. My friend Sean. So you see, this is this this is not a uh, 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 Quran that's um, shown uh, uh, like all the time. Like you 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 rarely see things like this, man. All right. Because, all right. So this was brought out in 1954. I'm thinking about the other one. But we well, we was in a bookstore yesterday. Which we only had the money to buy this one, but it's Qurans that go 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 further back, all right? Where um, it don't even say the word Allah at all. It says God, man. All right, and that's going back to I believe the 1800s and all that. You know? that's how I know words lose 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 meaning in translation. Which the word God, which the word Allah only means God. Man. Which means a power. God means power, man. That's like the scriptures say, "Ye are gods, but you're gonna die like men." All right, we're powers in Israel, man. All right, we're authorities. If you a god, that means you have a certain authority, a certain power. But you do that when you get The second precept was Revelation chapter 2 and 13. It says, I know thou works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was, was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. All right? So we come to the time, you know you're gonna have brothers being martyred. That's why we're giving you the, the words out there, Quran. All right, to let you know that that Quran is, is, is talking about us, man. All right? That Quran is not talking about the Ishmaelites, man. It's talking about Israelites. All right? The chosen people, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, man. But you got foolish dudes that, that, that'll read that. Why? Because that's just like a, a nigga reading the Bible, man. You know? Because me and the brother, we did a lot of research yesterday. And we found out a lot of interesting facts. But you know, and, 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 and some of these things we already knew, but it's good to refresh your uh, memory, man. You know? And like 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 the whole, man, it was a, it was a, a, a book in there that said, um, uh, uh, how basically teaching you how to talk in church and, and teach peace and prosperity and how to get an amen because you know you go to church they be like oh amen amen brother which amen is a man which is a man which is a god that goes back to the, uh, uh, to the Egyptians that's an Egyptian god And you got uh, people in the church after every prayer and all that, they talk about amen. And for you Muslims, you talk about I mean, like that's something different. You just throw an extra E in it. It's the same thing. So when, so, so when you are in church, you can say amen, you can say I mean, and a lot of niggas like to say I mean, or whatever, but this what you talk, this is basically who you worship when you say that. This is a uh, Amon Ra, all right? It says the kingdom of heaven is within you, whosoever shall, I, I ain't gonna all right, I'm going to get to this. It says, with o o Osiris, Amon-Ra is the most widely recorded 
of the Egyptian gods as the chief deity of the Egyptian empire. Amun Ra also came to be worshipped outside of Egypt, outside of Egypt, so that's talking about America, and wherever, where, wherever else that the Lord driven you to, man. All right? It says, uh, according to the testimony of ancient Greek, ancient Greek historiographers in Libya and Nubia as Zeus, Amon, I'm going to start this over, so this, when you say the word amen and all that, that's why they put the word in, in, in the scriptures. They put that word amen in the scriptures because it goes back to Amon Ra, which is the worship of, of, uh, uh, um, of, that, of, that, of that God, Amon Ra, the God of Egypt, man, which was a popular God. And like we said, words, so so you had certain dudes that, that, that was in charge of translating the words, man. But at the end of the scriptures, is, it's either so be it, or let it be so. When you finish saying your prayers, you don't say no amen. You say let it be, or so be it. All right? That's what you say after you finish praying. But now you have these dudes, you know, they they um um they they, they change the prayers and put their own little words in there. But they couldn't change all, all the words of the Bible, man. All right, so people saying that the Bible's tampered with and this, this, that, and the third. They don't understand the meaning of words and translations. All right? The Bible never changed at all. All right? You can say it with temple with all you want. But when you're talking about Amon, this is who you're praying to. When you go to church and you say amen, are you niggas love to do? And for you Muslims that like to say amen when you finish praying, all right? That's who you worshiping, man. It says with Osiris, Amon Ra, is the most widely recorded of the Egyptian gods as the chief deity of the Egyptian empire. Amon Ra also came to be worshipped outside of Egypt, of, of Egypt according to the testimony of ancient Greek historic, historiogra historiographers in Libya and Nubia as Zeus uh, Amon, uh, Amon he came to be identified with Zeus in Greece, man. All right. So who they try to say Zeus was, man? That Zeus, that's that's um um, um Greek mythology. Who they say Zeus was supposed to be Jesus, man? All right. But some you, I know, I was talking to this dude. He said all 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 so-called religions believe in who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. You might not believe exactly what where his his whole mission was, but you believe that he existed. All right, all all of religions. So if if all of them can agree that that man existed, it gotta be true, man. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7 it says let the wicked forsake his way in the right man let the wicked forsake his way in the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto Yahweh by Shah, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon yeah, and that's talking about Israelites. It's not talking about the wicked because the wicked are going to be wicked until the end. So Esau, he's going to be wicked until the end. 
But like I said earlier, you know, the scripture talks about grace. And the Most High has mercy on his people because he, he loves our people. He showed us faith. Like, it's, it's, it keeps talking about faith. Like, when you when you have favor upon somebody, you know, just like, for example, um, you know, if, if somebody, like, for example, somebody owes you money or something, but you have, like, favor on them, you might, you know, forgive them, like, let it slide and all that stuff. Like, so that's basically what the Most High is doing with our with our people. Um, you know, but we, we, uh, it's only going to be the elect that are going to come back to the word of the Most High and um, fear him and be sincere. Jeremiah chapter 29 and 13. It says, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Yeah, and basically it's saying when you when you seek me, that you're gonna find me. It's talking about seek, seeking the most high because in order to in order to come into the truth, one, you know, the spirit has to uh has to come to you, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna just get it on your own, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, anybody can open up the Bible and read. Not anybody's gonna be able to understand, you know. First comes, you know, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So you gotta be able to uh, have somebody come to you and break this down. You gotta be able to, even if somebody breaks it down, Most High has to put the Holy Spirit on you, you to be able to uh, receive it. So. Uh, yeah, and I mean, you know, you know, it's not going to be, it's a small number of people that are going to seek the Most High and are going to actually find it and understand what the Word says and actually do it. Like the scriptures say, in uh, James, I think James 1 and 22, it says, Be ye not hearers of the Word, but doers only. So, you know, just like how you have people in the church, they may hear the scriptures and what the Bible's telling them to do, but they're not going to do it. All right, it's, uh, this is the book of James 1 and 22. It says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Yeah, because like, like uh, also the scriptures say, and uh, I believe in 1 John, where it talks about, you know, you have people that say they believe in the most high, but they don't they don't follow the laws and all that. So if you don't follow the laws, and I'm, when, I, when I say follow laws, I'm not talking about 100% to the T, because... You know, like we always say, you can't keep the laws 100%, but we're under the, the law of a Mashiach, and how it's shot, just like I said about the grace, because as long, if you're under the law, you're, you're, uh, the penalty is death, but if you're under the, uh, grace, you know, of Yahweh, the law of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, then you're not under, you're not, uh, under, under the, uh, the penalties of death. Like the scriptures say, in uh, Habakkuk, it says that the just shall live by faith, and the just is talking about the, uh, the left of Israel going to live by faith. Yeah, so it said Jeremiah 29 and 13, and ye shall seek me and find me, and when ye search for me with all your heart. So yeah, you got to search for the most high with all your heart. Like, you know, me and his brother, you know, we was in you know, we was in our different philosophies and all that stuff. We were sincere. We really wanted to understand and do the right thing. And a lot of our people, that's not in their spirit to do the right thing. You know, they want to have money. You know, they want to uh, have vain glory. They're not worried about, uh, you know, being uh, doing the right thing according to the whole side. Yeah, come, come. Yeah, black and brown buck. And another way of seeking them, like the Lord, a lot of niggas, man, they think that the Lord is going to come down here personally and give you and, 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 and uh, uh, give you understanding. Open your eyes, man. How does the Lord open your eyes and how do, how do you seek him? You seek him because he has his men out here. That's the reason why we out here on the highways and valleys, man. All right? While we out here, you're supposed to seek. All right? While the door of grace is open, man. All right, and if the Lord, like, like, like the brother said earlier, like when I first came into this thing, man, I prayed to the Lord, like, Lord, 
Because I knew about the confusion of faces, the RFID microchip being a market of beast. Once I first heard about that, I, that shit shook my spirit, man. You know? But, like, I, I prayed to the Lord, man, that he, that he would lead me to, to, to a congregation that had all the shades of Israel. All right? That he would lead me to a congregation that had all the shades of Israel. And where he led me to, Great Millstone. All right? What's that come that's seeking the Lord? Why it shall be found? Because it's going to come in time. I like, we can get that later, but it's going to come in time when it's a famine of the word. Right now, you got everybody walking up and down these streets, not even paying us no mind, not even looking at us. But they might look at us and think it's a goddamn show. But we ain't out here for no show, man. This is real life. This is real serious. This is serious business, man. This is just as serious as you having a freaking heart attack. All right? When the prophecies right now is, 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 is uh, they've been coming to pass, but you have one major prophecy that just touched American soil, man. Which is the RFID microchip being a mark of the beast and being implemented into people know is publicly known. So people know about this, man. It ain't no more denying it. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. What's the word conspiracy? This means conspire to come together in secret. All right? That means they come together in secret and they agree on chapter 8 verse 11 it says behold the days come said Yahweh Basim Yahweh our power that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor thirst for what for water but of hearing the words of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai man yeah so that's speaking in a future tense and it's saying that it's gonna come a time when when the most high is his word just like how we're out here on the highways and byways you know, you had the internet, and you have other brothers out here that are professing, proclaiming the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and they're not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to hear the word. So that's why it behooves you right now to basically take this word seriously, you know, and do your own research. And, and like the scripture says, you know, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So that's what you gotta do, and then come back to the truth, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they're gonna, they're putting out legislation so that uh, you know they're gonna take away the the proper breakdowns of the scriptures and all that. Matt, yo. Yeah, just like how you had uh, that movie, The Book of Eli. It showed you how they tried to uh, you know like burn all the Bibles and all that stuff. You know, that, that, that was an example of them trying to uh, you know take away the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Even though in that movie, you know, according to that movie, the prophecies, which we understand, you know, still came to pass like. The, you know, you know, they were kind of out of order and all that stuff, like the and all that. Because in, in a movie, you know, America was still there. You know, it was it was a desert and all that stuff, but it's not going to be inhabited. Oh, damn. Well, damn. That the brother said that, man. That, that's a beautiful uh, um, example. Because, like, the brother said they're going to try to take away the, the, the proper breakdowns of the Bible, which we know that America is about to be the biggest desert on the face of this earth. So what they did in the book of Eli, they let you know America's gonna be a desert. But see the way the way he saw it thinking, they thinking that it's gonna get leveled and they're gonna be able to come back somehow and, and rebuild it. Which they show you that in every movie, man. You know? And that's the part of Esau. They really think that after this nuclear destruction comes, they're still gonna uh uh um, um thrive, you know, uh rebuild and, and pass on 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 um uh, 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 the, the the land for generations, man. This place is about to be a desolation uninhabited. 